Hey, I'm Scott here with Spore Vault Co. And today I'm uh, going to do a grain to grain transfer in my lab. So I have 50 grain bags ready to inoculate. Each one of them is five and a half pounds. Uh, this time I used Milo. Uh, normally prefer to use rye berries, but it really doesn't matter. I, sometimes if I can get Milo, that's what I use. And sometimes I mix them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one colonized grain bag. This colonized for two weeks. Um, as soon as it's fully white, uh, then you know it's ready, so it's colonized. I break it up, and I'm going to take this grain bag and pour it into 10 new grain bags. So in that way, you can take you know, your liquid culture, your spores, inoculate a couple grain bags with them, expand those grain bags by 10 times, and then I'll take one of these grain bags and spawn that into four substrate bags. So the 50 grain bags that I'm going to inoculate today are going to eventually, uh, first I'll let them colonize for two weeks, just about, and once they're ready, uh, I'll inoculate them one to four into substrate. And so these 50 grain bags that I inoculate today will make 200 substrate bags. All right, so now I'm in front of the flow hood. I'm about ready to take one of these grain bags and inoculate 10 more bags with it. First step is you want to break it up. Make sure it's loose so you can pour it. Next step, sterilize it. Sanitize it with alcohol. Especially focus on the top where you're going to be doing the pouring. like to give the area a little wipe down in between bags. All right, so now I'm ready to start my pours. Um, I like to open my, to cut my bags open with a scalpel and I, I'll heat sterilize it first. I have this nice um, ceramic ster scalpel sterilizer, but you can just use a torch lighter or an alcohol lamp, whatever you want. And then the technique that I, I use a kind of a specific technique the way I like to open these bags with a scalpel. Start in the middle, cut across that way. And then kind of angle it up so that I don't open it across the entire length of the bag, but just about halfway. Because that just helps it stay closed and more protected while I'm working with it. It can help to slide your fingers up between the pleats and then pull it open like this on top. Uh, I like to loosen the grain up a little bit like this before I inoculate. Um, although you don't have to do it perfectly because these bags will all get mixed after they're sealed. So a good technique to use for peeling open these sterilized grain bags is to pull the top up and slide your fingers up these pleats and then pull. And it'll just open up pretty easily like that. And when you pour the grain, you want to make sure not to insert this, this colonized bag into the fresh bag too much. Try not to touch the inside of the plastic. Now, I did wipe this bag down with alcohol, so it should be pretty clean. But you still don't want to make any contact with the inside of the plastic if you can help it. Not all impulse sealers, by the way, have this uh, electromagnet on them. This one I got from Myers Mushrooms. 
Um, but it's pretty handy because you can just leave it sealing hands off and grab another bag. Now as you pour, just kind of keep an eye out for how many grain bags you have left so that you can adjust your pour accordingly. Make sure you have enough for the rest of your bags. Also, as you're working, just make sure you try to keep all open substrates or cultures inside of the perimeter of the filter on your flow hood. Now you don't have to go one to 10 when you do these grain to grade transfers. You could do one to four, or you could do even one to 20. Um, just depends on how much grain spawn you have and how fast you want it to colonize. Obviously the more you use, the faster it'll colonize. Um, these grain bags uh, that are inoculated from another grain bag will go up to a week faster than if they were inoculated with liquid culture. So now I'm down to my last two bags. So I just made sure not to pour too much, not to pour too little, and just leave just about the right amount for those last two. I do seal all my grain bags twice. Um, it's just a really easy and quick extra step. It doesn't really add too much time to the process. Um, and then once they're sealed, I like to give them a little press to make sure that they're holding air. Uh, every once in a while, later on when you're mixing the bags, you might have a seal pop open. So if it's double sealed, it prevents having to throw a bag away. I like to cut from the middle and out and then up at an angle so that I really only end up cutting half the bag across. That way it's not just wide open all the way across, but there's still plenty of room for me to pour.
So a good way to peel open these fresh bags is to pull it up, run your fingers up the pleats, and then just pull out at the top. I like to loosen them up a little bit before I inoculate. And then as you pour, try not to touch the inside of this bag while you're pouring. It is okay to touch it a little bit, and for that reason, when I do the seal, I seal it down about two inches or so because that gives you some room where if you touch around the top at all, you're sealing that out. Uh, this bag did get wiped with alcohol, so it should be pretty clean anyway, but you guys want to try not to touch the inside of a bag if you can. Avoid it. Uh, I like to double seal all of them. It doesn't really add too much time. It's just safer. Sometimes the seal pops open later on when you go to mix it. Um, I also like to check the seal just by going like this, make sure it holds air, um, and then it should be good.
just finished up inoculating 50 grain bags of the grain to grain transfers. So I just took five colonized grain bags and turned them into 50 more. Um, so these bags, they'll take, uh, after, when you use a grain to grain transfer, because you're inoculating it with um, already colonized grain, that actually cuts like probably a week off the colonization time. So this should be done easily in two weeks. Um, and then at that point, I can take each one of them and put them, put it into four substrate bags. So I will have taken five grain bags, turned those into 50 grain bags, and then taken those 50 grain bags and turned them into 200 substrate bags. So that's 200 bags just made out of five grain bags.